Hi, my name is Betty Harmon. Today, I'll be explaining the Six Thinking Hats method of thinking to you. This is a concept that is taught in Nursing 320, which is the Introduction to Nursing Leadership and taught at the University of Mount Island. This is an assignment for my Master of Science in Nursing degree at the University of Mount Island. My objectives for this presentation are to explain the Six Thinking Hats and its relationship to parallel thinking, to enable the audience to identify the six thinking hats and their roles, and to use the six thinking hats method in an everyday example. The six thinking hats method of thinking was invented by Dr. Edward DeBono in the early 1980s. It's a method of thinking that incorporates parallel thinking, which is a way of thinking that allows everyone involved to offer their input and to contribute even if they don't agree with what's being discussed. This method of thinking follows the framework of Rand J. Spiro's Cognitive Flexibility Theory. This theory is based on the belief that learning is not linear and that we as humans can restructure our knowledge based on situational demand. You will see this relationship as we move through the discussion of the six hats. Now on to the hats. Think of the blue hat as the manager or the director of the group. With the blue hat on, we can identify the problem, decide on what actions to take, facilitate communication, manage time constraints, and manage the flow of ideas. With the white hat on, our role is to represent the facts in a neutral manner, identify what's missing from the information that's already been gathered, and to come up with possible solutions. Think of this hat as Switzerland. It's neutral. When wearing the red hat, we can use our personal feelings to help us understand how others feel about the problems or solutions and to use, or to use our gut instinct or intuition to give us direction. This is when we can say, I don't feel like this would work. Just remember, when using your feelings or your gut instincts to try to guide other people's thoughts, you must have logic to back it up. The yellow hat rep allows us to be optimistic and to look for ways to solve the problem at hand, to overcome pro challenges to the problem, and to develop action plans to jump the hurdles. When wearing this hat, we can look forward to the results of the solutions that have been discussed. Think of the black hat as the logical one in the bunch. With the black hat on, we'll point out the weaknesses of the ideas and solutions that have been presented, reveal the flaws in the path to the goals, and identify the lack of resources that we need to get to our goal. The green hat allows us to think outside of the box. It also allows us to develop creative alternatives and find new ways to do things. With the green hat on, we can avoid the we always do it this way attitude. We can also use this hat to, to overcome the weaknesses that were identified by the black hat. After all the hats have had their say, the blue hat comes back out. The blue hat is the manager, and at this point, it is the duty of the blue hat to summarize the findings and ensure agreement from the group. Now, let's work through a solution. Let's work through a problem using the six thinking hats method as a solution. Your nursing supervisor has asked you to be on a committee to review whether or not to use a new piece of equipment on your floor. There are five committee members and you have a four week deadline. Okay, we've all been there in some type of meeting. Maybe it's a committee meeting or a board meeting. Ideas are flying, people are going off topic, and it seems like there's no direction. How do we approach this type of situation to reach a goal? We use the six thinking hats method. With the blue hats on, the group works together to agree on the goal. The goal is, do we use this new piece of equipment or not? With this hat on, we also need to set deadlines, such as we'll have our data and collected and analyzed within three weeks, and we'll make our decision within four weeks. The group then puts on the white hats. The white hats investigate what information we already know about the product, such as our other units using this product, product, is it working for them? The white hat also looks at the value of using this new piece of equipment. How will it benefit the patients on our unit? 
With the red hats on, the committee members discuss their gut reactions to using this new piece of equipment. They're asking questions such as, do I feel that this is the best product for our needs? Do I feel the implementation of this product is feasible on our unit? Wearing the black hats, the committee asks questions such as, what, is it, what if this product doesn't work? Do we have a backup plan? Have we gathered enough information to make an informed decision about this product? The yellow hat repre represents optimism. With these hats on, the committee can identify solutions that were identified while wearing the black, excuse me, can identify solutions to the problems that were identified while wearing the black hats. They also begin to look at the long-term benefits of using this new product. For example, using this piece of equipment will decrease falls on our unit, which will then increase our benchmark scores. Then we put on our green hats. The green hats allow us to come up with a plan or design to ensure a smooth rollout of this product and think about the what ifs. What if this product doesn't work on this unit? Is there a different model that would work better? Decreasing files and increasing our benchmark scores is our goal, so let's think of an alternative plan to meet that goal. When all hats have been worn, the blue managerial hat comes back out. It may ask the committee to put back on the white hat and get more information, maybe from maybe by going outside of the hospital and asking other hospitals if they're using this piece of equipment and if it works for them. It could also ask the green hat for a more creative way to roll this product out. Once the requests from the blue hat have been resolved, the group will review the information they have from each hat, make a decision, and ensure that they're in agreement. As you can see throughout this example, the Six Thinking Hats method of thinking is a good way to keep a group of people who have been brought together to solve a problem on point and to avoid judgment. For this method to be successful, it's essential that all members of the group wear the same hats at the same time. So next time you're in a meeting that seems to be going nowhere, suggest this method and put your hats on. Thank you for your attention. Please don't forget to fill out your survey and email it to jsug at umo.edu.